What is up guys, Shooter125 here, and today we have the second How to Be Good in Wager Mode, and this is talking about Sticks and Stones, and what this series is really about is just helping out people who were, who've never played or who want to get better at, you know, playing uh, Sticks and Stones Wager Modes in general. And, you know, kind of getting into the, the Weekend Gambler, High Roller kind of thing. Weekend Gambler's my favorite. You're not risking too much money, but you are getting a lot in return. 3,000 COD points, that's a... That's more that's more than a good game, really. Because for every 1,000 points that you get in the game, that's 100 COD points that you get uh, in return, I guess. Or towards your score. Like, if your score is like 1,000, you'll get 100 COD points. But that's not really important. Um, what, this, this game is pretty much one of the more luckier games, like if you, it's all based on luck, and I'm gonna teach you how to, uh, avoid the bad luck and hopefully give yourself good luck at the same time. So first of all, what I wanna say is, if you're in a game, and there's a guy that has his ballistic knife out, but he's not even shooting it, you're gonna wanna do the same thing that he is. He's already at a way bigger disadvantage. That's like commando knifing pretty much for wager modes because you don't have a, a submachine gun or anything to spray him down with. You have a freaking crossbow and then the ballistic knife and a tomahawk. Excuse me. So if you can pull off a stick like this guy can, then go for it. But I mean if there's that one guy that just keeps running around the map killing everybody with his ballistic knife and then you keep dying, everybody else keeps dying, everybody else is gonna switch. And the whole point of a wager mode is to put people at a disadvantage. If you're, if you want to be number one, you're going to have to put people at a greater disadvantage than you are. At. And by default, kills get you points, and points win the game. So, kills win the game. And if you get tomahawked, all those kills go to waste. So you really need to watch your back at the same time. So, when you're running out to the center of the map, which you should never do, I don't know why you would. But if you do, you really need to watch your back. And what I say that you should do is toward the last maybe two minutes of the game, one minute of the game. Because this is only a five minute game. It usually doesn't even last that long. But if it does carry out and pull through that, uh, like right about here, the one minute and 30 mark, you really need to start watching your back, being a little bit more cautious of where you're going. Because if not, you may get tomahawked. Everything might go to waste. Now you've earned, so let's say you get maybe... 20 or 30 kills in this game type and you have no deaths or maybe two deaths or something you think it's gonna be a great commentary gameplay and then you get tomahawked right at the last like maybe 10 seconds of the game you're, you're gonna be mad trust me you're gonna be mad and that's what happens uh to me well i i do the uh i send the message to the guy in first and you can't have that spot pretty much uh, i tomahawk him in the last 10 seconds of the game and the game actually ends with me throwing the tomahawk. That is the last kill in the game, and I'm sure he was mad. But as you can see right here, we got into a little uh, ballistic knife fight. And if you do run out of ballistic knives and it switches back to your crossbow, and you're in like a kind of like a close quarter kind of combat looking area, kind of like that situation right there, where it's just knife on knife, and it switches to your crossbow, you gotta you gotta switch as quick as you can, but Definitely stay alert because if he throws a tomahawk at you while you're switching your weapon, you're kind of vulnerable in a way. And if you get tomahawked, all those kills go to waste, like I've been saying. So as you can see, it's in the last 10 seconds of the game, or 9 seconds. I can't see it. Sorry about the quality, by the way. I do have the PVR. Uh, this is recorded with the Dazzle. And I have it pre kind of set up in Sony Vegas, so... Right here, as you can see, I pull off the win, end up tomahawking the dude in first, putting him at the bottom. All of his kills went to waste, practically because of that one tomahawk. So you definitely want to watch your back. Uh, use the ballistic knife, mainly, and don't play the game mode, because it's not one of the best ones. Now, if you like crossbows and stuff, I guess it's the game type for you. If you can stick people, I can't really do that, so this is not my game type. But, uh... That's pretty much my tips. Uh, I didn't have too many for this video, and I'm sorry for that, but I just can't think of too many for wa like this type of wager mode that's based only on luck. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Tune in for the next episode. Peace!